In this episode, I'm gonna take you guys on a tour of our nursery. Come on, let's go on in. So the overall design of this nursery is done by my wife, which I think she did an amazing job. And the only thing I input was labor. So I'm gonna go counterclockwise and start talking about the items we got for the room. So first, of course, is gonna be the crib. We got the crib from JCPenney's, it's the Carter's one. So one of the reasons why we really, really liked this Carter crib was besides for the pricing, was also because of the material used to make it. It's um, non-toxic material, so it's supposed to be safe for the baby. Additionally, we also like that it's a convertible bed, so this means that it can grow with Alistair. So the next thing for our baby monitor, we decided to go with the Nanit brand. So based off the reviews, we were looking at different type of baby monitors. The Nanit had very high reviews. It is a little bit more pricey than a lot of other ones out there. It doesn't even come with a little dedicated baby monitor that some of the other ones do. But based on the reviews, it looked like something we wanted. So I'll make a video later about it after I get to use it when Alistair comes. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss that video. So next item is the Cloud Island Mobile Crib. And of course, the reason why we like this is because it matches the theme of the room. So instead of painting the walls, we decided to go with sticker decals. So one is the cloud set, which has the six clouds right here. Besides for the cloud decals, we also have the dream big animal set. So here we have our changing station and our drawers. The drawer is from Ikea. So let me tell you something about this drawer. If you're planning to get one yourself, put it aside about two to three hours to put it together. It probably took me about closer to three hours to put together. It's not that it was hard. They're IKEA instructions, so they're not hard. But there's so many freaking parts. So plan accordingly. So we have a doggy dust lamp, as well as a doggy stuffed animal. And this diaper bike was a gift we got from our diaper party that we had. So next thing we have here is the Skip Hop brand changing station. And what we like about this is that it's very easy to clean. Here we have Noah. It is a Cuddle and Kind doll. So one of the great things about this Cuddle and Kind brand is that not only are they handmade, but also that every single doll sold equals 10 meals donated. So we've actually already organized these drawers, um, kind of Condo Marie style. I'm not sure if you've been watching Condo Marie on Netflix, but my wife loves that stuff. So most of our house has already been Condo Marie'd, even this room. So um, for example, let's go ahead and take a look at this drawer right here. So before we move on from the changing station, there's one last thing I wanna show you guys. Hey Google, turn on the backlights. Okay, turning the backlight on. So the plan is to use this backlight instead of turning on the normal lights so that when my wife is breastfeeding Alistair, it's not too bright in here. These lights not only work with Google Home, but they also work with Amazon's Alexa, which is very convenient. However, if you don't have one of those in your room, this one also comes with a nice little remote control. The one I bought is a Nexlux brand. It's not as expensive as some of the other brands like Lifex. Um, I never personally used that brand, but this one seems to work really easily. Um, install was really quick. So if you're interested, I have a link down below. Of course, next to the changing station, we have the Ubi diaper pail. And next to that is our little mobile cart. Let me kind of explain to you what this mobile cart has and what it does. So the very top part of the mobile cart is the diapers, as well as wipes. And then we have diaper balm here, and then well as a tool to apply it, just in case. And then here we actually have the hatch. So the reason why the hatch is actually right here is because we will actually be having this mobile changing station in our own room for the first week or two when Alistair is first born, just so he can sleep with us a little bit before we move him to the nursery. So the second tier is mostly breast pump related material, such as the breast pump holders in the back here, as well as some soothing pads in here for breastfeeding. And of course we have pacifiers in this well here as well. And last but not least, we have a th thermometer here. So on the last tier, we have blankets, swaddles, and bibs. While we do have blinds, we still decide to add a curtain because as you can see, the blinds lets in quite a bit of light and we wanted to make sure the room stays nice and dark for Alistair. And on this wall, we have the cloud bookshelves, which I was talking about earlier. Here we kind of pretty much put all the books and stuffed animals that Alistair has. This is where we put the don't let your story in board, as well as my wife's every dream begins with a wish sign here. So as you probably noticed, I did use a Google Home to turn on the backlights. Rather than putting a Google Home on one of the shelves or the diaper changing station itself, 
what we did is we got one of these nice little outlet things that you plug into the wall and the Google Home goes right underneath it so it saves you space and it's kind of out of sight in a way. And the chair that I'm sitting right now is the Addison chair that we got from Target which I think till this day is probably one of our best Target clearance finds. Um, this is the chair that my wife is going to be using for breastfeeding. Let me know down below in the comment section if this tour gave you any ideas on what you can do with your nursery. And of course, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.